Well, I'd love to say it was me, everybody, but it was Kakaya, who's our game guard sitting on the back of the car, spotted this animal as I was whizzing past. Young male lion, don't know who he is, but if you look just over the top of his head, you may see the dotting of ants on the horizon. They aren't ants, of course, they are the gnooing gnoos of the migration. So we're going to sit with this cat and see what he does. He doesn't look very full to me. He looks like he has probably... Well, I don't know, you've probably eaten in the last day or so, but if you're a lion in the migration, you've always, almost always eaten in the last day or so. The trick is going to be to get around this small lager, aka trench. I think that's been dug by the drainage, by the road crew. So we're just going to go back onto the road and around. And with any luck, he will continue his merry way towards the wildebeest and eat one in front of us. It would be very nice of him. So that is our objective. That's the trifecta we're looking for here while the migration's in town. Uh, one, a wildebeest. Two, a predator. Three, very importantly, signal. We've got all three here. It's very seldom happened to me. Let's try and get off the road without getting stuck. Nothing would give Brentley Smith more pleasure than to hear that I had got myself stuck in the mud because he thoroughly believes that I will be the first. I thoroughly believe the same thing. There we go. We'll just go around this man-made lugger. And he's definitely looking towards the herds there. So that's great news. <laughs> Hello, our beard. You're wondering if a young male lion's beard starts off as a mohawk, his mane. Uh, our beard, yes, absolutely, his mane does start off as a mohawk. It's not the most attractive thing when they're young. It's a little bit like, you know, when a when a young boy starts to develop his first beard, or in Brent Leo Smith's case, um, his current beard. There we go. Uh, what happens is that they, yeah, it takes a long time for them to fill out, and they have that sort of teenagerish look about them, where the beard is not quite full. So I think we'll sit with him for some time and hope that he does some hunting. That's interesting, John. I don't know the answer to that question, really. You say, do young males find it easier to hunt because they've got a smaller mane than the big males? I don't think so, John. I think they're both very effective hunters. I don't think the big mane makes a big difference. I don't, don't think it slows them down. I think what you'll find, it actually provides protection. I don't know if you've heard how many times you've watched a takedown, but I don't know, go to YouTube and Google a slow motion takedown uh, of a lion catching a zebra or something like that. They hit the ground very, very hard often, and often their prey is, well, sometimes weighs twice what they do. And that means, of course, that the potential for injury is huge. So if you've got a big, thick, shaggy mane to protect your vulnerable neck and head region, then I imagine it must be, well, like wearing a sort of sponge over your head, if you like. So I don't think it slows them down. I think it probably helps prevent injury, but they are, they're said to be slower than the females. I don't think I believe that. I don't think that a male lion is slower than a female. He's bigger. He's therefore got more reach. He's stronger. So I'm, I'm really not convinced that a male lion is any slower than a female at all. I think what you'll find, though, John, of course, is that a young male lion like this might have to hunt a little bit more than an older male who will sup on the proceeds of his pride Whereas this chap won't be able to do that. And this chap, we, you know, he is pretty full, I must say. Anyway, we'll sit with him for a while and see if he doesn't go to get on the hunt again. Uh, let's head back down to South Africa to, well, the most common antelope down there.